Hello everyone, to the gaming here and welcome back to another enlisted episode. Battle of Berlin is back. Let's check it out. So weapon wise we don't have many changes. So we got flamethrowers like in Battle of Moscow. Also rifles received bayonet. That means you can charge attack the enemy now. Vehicle wise, ground vehicles are the same, but we have different planes for the Russia Yak 90 IL-237. However, Germans received a really good plane. Let me quickly show you that. Uh, Mi-410 with double 500 kilo bombs. So one ton bomb mass at total. So what else Germans have? We still have the Panther F. Unfortunately, Tiger 2 and IS-2 are not here. They will be back, so no worries. And as a fighter for Germans, we have BF-109G. Doesn't wear any bombs, even though there's a bomb holder here. That's weird. So first map is good old Reich Chancellery. It's the same map from the previous Battle of Berlin open beta. So as you can see, compared to the previous version, it received a dark ambient. It's really close to a night time and it looks absolutely sick. However, the new map we received for the Battle of Berlin is the Kroll Opera House. Best urban map in the game. Honestly, I didn't play such an urban World War II map since Red Orchestra 2. So good job developers. I absolutely love this map. So many structures, tight streets, wide streets, corridors, moving through the cracked buildings, interesting paths, lots of covers, multiple story buildings. It's just insane. There is so much detail in this map. It is indescribable. Anyway, let's look around now. So this is the map that I was talking about. The Crawl Opera House. Look, you can see the bridge. Russians are pushing. I'm gonna skip the bridge part in this video. Gonna show you the urban part of the map. Uh, by the way, Battle of Berlin is available to close beta participants. So if you wanna test this map out, you need to buy a pack. Lots of new structures in this map. It's not completely copy paste of the Reichstag map. We have some unique buildings. For example, this one. Let's climb up. Going up, going up. How did that guy get there? Let's try to find this path. Climbing from the ruins to the upper floor. That's awesome. And I hear there is a tank shooting. Down below. Where is it? There's the T-34, gonna jump from here. Let's try to destroy it. Okay, that went off a bit. Let's try to drop it on top. Here we go, that should kill it. Here we go, got it. Engineers have drilling shotgun. Nice. It's been a while since I didn't play with this. And actually, they fixed the drilling shotgun. Now it shoots two times. Before it was uh, shooting only once. So both barrels shooting at the same time, but now separately. So that's a good progress. Also, they increase the range of the flamethrowers. Now they have double amount of range. Still not realistic. It should have been minimum 25 meters. But uh, better than nothing. And you're gonna see the flamethrower gameplay a bit later. But yeah, right now I'm just showing around the map. Uh, how does it look? The effects, lighting, buildings, the entrance to the buildings. Uh, currently there's a tank at the end of the street. Okay, he's distracted. And he's dead. I have an interesting, not that popular weapon in my hand. It's a 1945 production German MP3008. Feels like a grease gun. 
quite weak compared to the MP40, but I guess better than nothing. A really silly gun. I don't like it. We can even climb here. Awesome. Is that enemy? Oh god, quite many of them here. Yeah. Oh no, they spawn in front of me. No. I didn't expect that. Let's try to kill Phil. If only I had shotgun now. Alright. Now let's try the flamethrower. And I'm gonna show you the range. Okay, so here I am with the flamethrower. You can already see the distance. How further it sprays. Let's try to kill someone with it. Gonna flank towards back of the objective. Enemies there. Die. Come on, burn. Got one. Whoop. Burn, burn. <laughs> I love this. Now it feels like a flamethrower. The range is awesome. Oh. Accidentally burned myself. Oh, there's too many. There's too many. And also they nerfed the bazookas, unfortunately. Their splash area is not that big enough. You literally need to directly hit the infantry. If you want to kill him. So goodbye killing a large group of enemy. Like before. God damn! I cannot pick the shotgun. Damn it. Come here, boy. This is the last objective. As you can see, when enemies cap an objective, they're gaining 100 tickets back. But unfortunately, their ticket amount is just too low. They're not gonna be able to win this fight. Yep, double shot. Okay. Didn't see that guy. Okay, I noticed that no one is building garrisons. So I think I need to build one. So our team can spawn and get to the objective much quicker.
Whoa! That's a nice camping there, buddy. Let's spawn on the rally point I placed. And yeah, this is a victor. They're out of the tickets. Match will end in one minute. Meanwhile, let's explore the opera building. I mean, the architecture of this building, it's amazing. And this building actually exists in real life. Here is a picture of it, with the flag cannon next to it. It's clearly visible that a lot of effort was put in this map. If you like this campaign, you might want to also check my previous Battle of Berlin videos, where you find longer gameplay with different kind of vehicles and weapons. So yeah guys, that was it. Don't forget to leave a like and comment, but I'll see you next time. Peace out.